Good morning, everybody. My name is Jen, the Caffeinated Crafter. Today is Saturday, January the 20th, 2024. Hopefully you actually get to see it on Saturday. It might be Sunday, depending on how long it takes to upload. Uh, and this is floss tube number 60. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. This is a channel where I talk about a bunch of cross stitch. I have plans and goals and milestones and categories and drawing out of baskets and all kinds of fun stuff. And if you're returning, I'd like to welcome you back. Thank you so much for watching and following along in my journey. And um, special guest today is Mr. Whiskers. He came to sit with me for a few minutes. Hey, Mr. Whiskers. He's sick right now. He has a respiratory infection and a urinary tract infection. He's miserable. But he's getting medicated takes his pills like a champ. You can see his fur floating around here. <laughs> um, he's starting to feel better though. He's starting to feel a bit better. His nose isn't burning hot. He had a fever when I took him to the vet a few days ago. Um, anyway, it's a little bit of a different setup if you've seen my channel before. I'm in a new location. It's actually the same room. It's just a different spot in the room. And that is because of what I'm going to do today. So, um, bless you. If you hear sneezing, it's him. Okay. I should probably talk about what's going to happen today before I start showing stuff. So, I have been noodling about... 2025 plans. Oh, look at my shirt today. It says procrastinate verb to cross stitch when you could be doing, oh, when you should be doing housework. <laughs> my mom got that for me. Um, okay. So I have been noodling about plans for 2025 already, and we're only in January. And I was chatting with Alara and Suki and I was like, you know, I kind of want to start doing them now. When I was telling them what the plans were, they were like, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. You should probably go ahead and do that. That would be great. So what my plans are, what, or what my 2025, 2025 plans were, were to do exactly what I'm doing with the categories and the milestones and the goals and everything, but pare it down to like, 150 projects and as I finished the big goal for one of the projects replace it with another one um, whether it be a finish or just a certain number of stitches on a piece or you know whatever uh, go ahead and replace it with a new one and um, so that's what we're going to do today we're going to pair the stuff down to 150 projects. That is not counting my uh, Heaven and Earth Sal that I'm doing this year or the 25K in 25 weeks challenge that I'm doing with Olera with um, Honeymoon Sunset. So 150 projects plus those two. So it's gonna be kind of like another whip parade <laughs> because I'm gonna show you what I worked on the past two weeks and then we're going to draw out um, draw out the projects that I'm going to pair this down to. So if you don't, if this is your, if you're stumbling onto my channel for the first time, um, I did no new starts last year, kind of unintentionally, and so I'm paying for it now because I went from 139 projects at the start of 2024. I had like. 15 finishes so that brought it down to 124 projects that was quick math in my head hopefully that's the right number um, I had 15 finishes so it brought it down to 124 and with all the new starts that I was planning I was up to like 320 projects then I added the Hade cell and that was 321 projects and then I joined a few more sales and had a couple more projects that I wanted to do. Um, they're not going to get included in this draw because I still have not, 
I haven't cut the little names for them yet, and I haven't technically made projects, but I had two more cells plus two more projects I wanted to add. So those will get included later. So I'm not gonna start those right now because I don't have their names in the basket. Um, but that technically does bring me up to 325. And when I was thinking about it, I was like, well, you know, I want to be able to get progress on my stuff. So if I drop it down to 150, once I hit the big goal, then I'll pull it out and we'll have to see how it goes. Um, we'll just, we'll just have to see how it goes, play it by ear because some of these some of this stuff is pretty small, so it will get replaced pretty quickly. And if I draw some stuff fairly fast, then I could go ahead and just, you know, kind of get that stuff done. But yeah, so I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm, that I worked on the past two weeks. And then we're going to draw out, uh, oh, and then for the 150 that I'm going to pare it down to, anything I've worked on since the first big draw on my last floss tube of the year, last year. Um, from then on, anything that I've actually worked on is already pulled to be included in that 150. And um, so that was um, between that and then what I've worked on today, uh, that was 30 projects. So I have to draw 120 to bring it up to 150. Okay. <clears throat> so this board has to be adjusted because it's gonna be adjusted based on what, so we're not gonna update this board today, unfortunately. I know, you're disappointed. Uh, but this is all the categories that I have my projects divided up into. Some projects were in multiple categories, but this needs to be pared down based on what I pull out that I'm gonna pare this down to. Same with the milestones. Um, so we're gonna set that aside and you'll see that in the next video. But this is the board that has my active projects that I work on for the two weeks. And as you can see, I got a lot of milestones done. Woohoo! Um, and there were a couple projects that I uh, worked on, but I did not finish. The only one that's not accurately updated is Best Friends Quotes. I did work on it. I have not finished it yet, but I didn't update the total stitch count, but I know what it is, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what I worked on the past two weeks. That's a lot, huh? Uh, I had a very epic stitching weekend last weekend. Um, I don't know how I did it, but somehow last Saturday I worked on three different projects and I did a total of 2,000 stitches. Well, technically it was 1,500 if you cut the, because one of them was, uh, like half, like tent stitch. So it was like kind of cut those stitches in half, but still. Um, and then Sunday I worked on two projects for almost a thousand. So I did like basically 2,500 stitches last week. And when I had my kids, it was crazy. Um, but it was like really easy stuff that stitched up super fast. So anywho, we're still going to update these boards because that's not changing. I'm still working towards that stuff and that's not changing. So we're gonna update these once I'm done. Um, I did not math this out. Hold on, one, two, So far this week, shit. One, two, three, one thousand, two thousand, thirty two, thirty five. So far this week, I've done about four thousand stitches. And last week, I did seven thousand one hundred and fifty stitches. Whoopsies. I'm using this little calendar that my mom sent me. Um, and then the very first week, which I went over last time was 6,782. So at the end of the, the first floss tube I do in February, I'll tell you what my total stitch count was for January, but I've been doing quite a bit. I've been doing quite a bit. Um, 
So we're going to set that aside as well. Okay. Let me show you what I've worked on. First thing I'm going to show you is best friends quotes. And this is a pattern that is no longer available, but I did get it on stitch area. Uh, they, other stores, uh, this is on Etsy. Well, this, I got this off Etsy, but, um, it's just quotes from the TV show Friends. I will say that if you go on Etsy and type in Friends, like, I don't know, Friends TV show cross stitch or something like that, uh, you will see similar patterns to this. Um, I think, oh God, I can't remember the name of the store now. There's one store that has something kind of like that. And they also um, have... Uh, <laughs> They have something that's kind of like that. And then they also have one for Big Bang Theory, if you're interested in that. So anyway, best friends quotes. My goal is to finish this thing. And I so far have done um, 650 stitches on this. And this is where I'm at so far with it. I'm just doing this on a, I don't know, like an 18 count Ada, I think. Um, so where I worked at was down here. Can I get it all if I just fold it up like this? Yeah. So where I worked out was down here. I finished this speech bubble right here and I finished the red in here. This is going to say big fat goalie. <laughs> and uh, I finished all the red in here and did the word goalie. I finished this phrase right here that says, hey, just so you know, it's not that common. It doesn't happen to every guy and it is a big deal. I finished the phrase and did the lines above and below it. And then I started in on the duck from the chick and the duck. Um, so what do I have left? We'll start at the top. I have to do the colored dots here and here. Um, I need to do the chopsticks and backstitch them. Uh, finish holiday armadillo. Uh, this is going to say more turkey, Mr. Chandler. I need to finish. Uh, this is going to say Wapa. Uh, finish uh, the name tag for Phoebe's alter ego. It's going to say, hello, my name is Regina Falange. Um, I have to backstitch the turkey. Finish the duck. Put in the words right here big fat and I oh and then the sevens over here I have another word seven and then another number seven and then it'll be done so it's getting close I was stitching on it at work for a little while like that's how I got the 650 stitches was I um was stitching on it at work so Next up. Let me just pull this in the order that I, like this is in no particular order. I'm just pulling it from the stack over here. Next up is the Heaven and Earth Stitch Along for 2024. This was a limited edition sign up, so it's no longer available to sign up for. Um, but, uh, Michelle's not running it. It's like two other people. I can't remember their names now. Lily? Lauren? Laura? I can't remember. And somebody else. And um, you had 10 pieces to pick from. I'm doing this one. Alara is also doing this one. Um, I am going to be stitching this on, or I am stitching this on a 28 count, easy count Lugana, two over one, tent stitch, because if you finish four pages by the end of the year, you get all 10 of the available sow patterns. And if you finish the entire pattern by the end of the year, then you get all of those plus two free ones. And I really want the free ones. So <clears throat> like off of the website, any two patterns that you want. And um, I really want the two free patterns. So I'm gonna see if I can get this done. 
I calculated it out because it's only 300 by 205. Like it's only 300 by 205. It's not very big. And doing it in 10 stitch is gonna make it a lot easier for me. And because it's about 6,100 stitches, which we, me and Alara both double checked each other's math. It's, if we do 1,200 a week, we'll get it done. So I've been working on it doing 1,200 a week. And so since you last saw it, I've put in 2,400 stitches. And that is where I'm at so far with it. I was working kind of going across and then I decided to come back over here and um, start filling this in and working my way across again. Um, but that's where I'm at so far with it. So I will keep the uh, this out so I can keep doing 1200 a week. Hopefully the lighting isn't too awful from behind. I know sometimes the windows can, the sun coming in the windows can make the lighting off. So if it's off today, I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. But if you saw what's in front of me, you would understand why I'm not at my couch. Next up is one of my new starts. This is Mother Nature Halloween. This is from the Just Cross Stitch magazine of 20... 23 this was 2023's like kind of series that they did and so I have all of the I'm going to do all of them this is the one I started this go round, and my goal on this is to get 5,000 stitches on it I had a milestone so if you haven't seen it I have all of my stuff with big goals broken down into smaller milestones to give myself a stopping point. So I have 10 milestones on this uh, of 500 stitches each. And so I hit the first milestone of 500 stitches. Um, I am using the Readly app. Readly? Readly? I can never remember how to say it. Anyway. Um, I am paying the subscription for it because I think it's totally worth it. I have access to all the, um, I have access to all the cross stitching magazines. And so I just pull it up on my phone and look at the pattern and go from there. So I'm doing this on a 28 count tea dyed Monaco two over two. And that is the first 500 stitches on her. Started in the middle of the piece. And so this is obviously the bottom of her dress. This is her corset starting in here. There's her boobies starting in there. This blue over here is part of her like cape. Yeah, cape. So, and it was really fun to work on. I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm glad I started that considering I changed my plans. Um, Next up is the challenge I'm doing with Alara. She is doing her challenge. We're doing 25K in 25 weeks. Whenever we actually post to Instagram, that's the hashtag we're using, hashtag 25K in 25 weeks. I am terrible about posting on Instagram. I get really gung-ho about it, and then I post like days in a row, and then I drop off the face of the earth over there. So... Um, but she's doing her 25k challenge in, um, on Dragons of the Sabbat. It's a retired piece from Pain Free Crafts. She is, last year she did a challenge with Darren from Dizzy Stitcher and she got all of the black on the outside of that piece done. And so her challenge with me for the first half of the year is to work on the inside black doing another 25,000. And then the second half of the year, she's doing a challenge with Suki and she's gonna continue on to do another 25,000 of the black on the inside. And I don't remember what piece Suki's doing for her challenge, but yeah. So anyway, my piece, back to me. My piece is Honeymoon Sunset from the Cross Stitch Studio. Artwork is by Abraham Hunter. This is 869 by 649. It has 133 colors. That is what it's going to look like when it is done. And I am, like 30 and 30 and a half, 30.53 percent complete. I started the year off at 30 percent, and the area that I worked in. So, what I'm trying to do is every floss tube when I show it, I may move to another area, um, but I'm trying to stay in the same area so it's easier to show. 
And if you want to see what the entire, what all I have done so far, I'm not going to show it today because my space is very cramped here. So I'm just going to show what I've worked on. And I may move to another area after I show this. But this is where I've worked. I'm doing this two over one tent stitch on a 25 count easy count Lugana. I came to the very middle of the pattern. This is where the sailboat is coming in. And I started working on like the rocks and stuff that you can see behind it. But that is what I've done so far. So this is 2,400 stitches since the last time that you saw it. And I really hope that this doesn't come out like super dark. I don't think it will, but you never know. Because dark videos drive me mad when I see them. I'm like, oh my God, get some lighting. I have a light, uh, light behind the thing, but with the light behind me, I'm just not sure. And honestly, like, I don't want to get up and close the blinds. I might, I can't reach it. <laughs> Okay, next up is another new start that I had, and this is from Pantini Pantini. This is um, Just One More Chapter and Other Lies series, and it says Just One More Chapter and Other Lies I Tell Myself. And I do have a goal to finish this. I am doing this on a 28 count printed fabric Looks like a little piece of the color came off of the print at some point because there's a little white dot right there, <laughs> but that's okay. I think the stitching will cover it, and if not, it's whatever. But my, um, I have a goal to finish this. The first milestone was to do this right here, the girl, the mug, and the lamp. And that was 483 stitches. You see that white dot right there. Some of the color came off. I don't know how that happened, but it's whatever. I think stitching might cover it up. So if it does, it's not a big deal. So, and then my next milestone will be to do the books over here. So. All right. The next thing I'm going to show you is the bookmarks the one i drew out this is from Bus busilla and this is two bookmarks i'm going to do them both the one that i drew out was this one over here and my goal is to finish it and the first milestone was to do the center cup because i was starting in the middle the cup above it and then back stitch as much as i could because the cups are stacked on top of each other so i didn't want to back stitch where stitching was going more stitching was going to go i'm just using whatever came in the kit and i got the i got the milestone done like i said i couldn't back stitch the entire thing because there's going to be stitching above and below it um but this was 566 stitches and um yeah this shouldn't take me very long because I can do, I got this done in one night and I only have three milestones for it. My next milestone is going to be to do the top two cups and then I'll be able to backstitch up here. And then the third milestone will be to do the bottom two cups and finish it off. So that's not going to take me very long at all. All right, next up is Springtime Splendor. And this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. Artwork is by Randall Spangler. It is, come on, flip around, 450 by 758. This is max color, so it has 236 colors. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I started the year at 4%. I'm doing this two over one tent stitch on a... It's not true tent stitch, but it's easier to say it that way. So um, it's like half cross and I'm just going every which way. Uh, but two over one tent stitch on 25 count, easy count Lugana. I have a goal to get it to 6%. Like I said, I started the year at 4%. And, um, but I have it divided into seven milestones of 1,000 stitches each, right? Yeah. And again, I don't have the space. I have stuff like something here something here something here like i have stuff everywhere right now so i am 
not really going to, I'm just going to be showing you on these full coverages where I worked. When I get back over to my couch where I have more space to spread out, that's when I'll show you the whole thing. But this is where I worked at. I came back over to where the house is and I started working my way up this way. What I'd like to do is go up to the top and get over to the top left corner like I normally do when I stitch. And then I'll start kind of working down and filling in. But I did um, 1,000 stitches on it. And I am currently at 4.29%. For being such a long piece, it's not very wide, so it only has 340,805 compared to some of my other pieces. Give me just one second. I need to straighten my leg out. I'm getting too old to sit cross-legged for an extended period of time, so I did straighten my leg out because my foot's starting to fall asleep. Next thing I'm going to show you is, this is from the World of Cross Stitching magazine. This is their sow for this year from Doreen Jones, and this is Stitcher's Paradise. Um, again, this is World of Cross Stitching this year. So if you have access to the World of Cross Stitching magazine, this is the sow that they're doing this year. Um, I am doing this. I didn't say parts one, parts two, because I wasn't sure when I was going to be pulling this out. And so I didn't want to say a part and then it hadn't come out yet or whatever. Um, so I just gave stitch counts. And so my goal is to do 6,000 stitches on this this year. And um, again, these goals are not going to get met this year. This is just a goal I set for myself. I, I'm not worried about hitting the goals. But anyway, like if I don't hit it, I'm not stressing it. But um, I had a goal of 6,000 stitches, 12 milestones. First milestone is 500 stitches. I'm doing this two over two on a 28 count white opalescent uh, loop. Even weave. You can really see the sparkle in that, huh? Because it's kind of dark. <laughs> so this, the light's hitting the sparkles. But this is 500 stitches. I left a thread hanging because it was really long and I didn't want to waste it. So I left the thread hanging for when I get back to it, but that's where I'm at so far. And if you don't like the lighting, then just stick around and next floss tube, it'll be back to normal. Cause I'll be back over at my couch without a window behind me. Because frankly, I am not going to get up to, I can't, I can't. <laughs> can't reach it. Next up is another new start. And this is uh, my first Teresa Winsler. I'm going to be maybe starting two of these. Um, this is Peacock and Unicorn. And I pulled the Unicorn piece to start. Oh, this is the one that I was, I was trying to think. I'm, high, I'm actually highlighting the pattern so I don't lose my place. This is the one that I'm actually highlighting. I can't remember which one I was actually doing. Um, but this is Unicorn. I'm doing this on a 28 count um, witch out in the color Summer Sky. It was a piece I had like in my stash from like 150 years ago. And I have a couple parked threads here because they were long and I didn't want to end them but I also was too scared to keep going with it in case I messed up. But this is the first 500 stitches. I started in the top left corner and my goal is 3000 stitches. I have six milestones on this with the first milestone of 500 stitches that I completed. And um, every milestone will be 500 stitches, but there's the first 500. So this is over here, right there. That is the end of the trees. So I'll just kind of keep working my way down. All right, my foot's waking up again. That's good. Actually, I'm getting feeling back in my foot. That's great. All right, next up is another new start. This is from Hands-On Design. And this is Let's Talk Stitching. 
This is the piece that I did my stitch with me on. I did a lot more after I stopped the stitch with me. My first, uh, I have a goal to finish this. I'm doing this on a, what? what is this? Like 16 count black Ada. Um, I got my milestone done and it was to do this section right here. So, like I said, I have a goal to finish it. And the next, that was 1,101 stitches. Um, my next milestone will be to do the words Ada, Linen, Frog, and then The Frog. So, my next milestone will be Ada, Linen, Frog, and then The Frog here. And I'll do the line underneath it. I may even go ahead and do those X's below it, I think. Nope. No, I won't. That's in a different milestone. Oh, Honeymoon Sunset's card is right here. Oopsies. So, like I said, I'm not going to update the category or milestone board because it's going to completely change when I pull out the projects that... I'm pairing this down to. I'm, and the reason why I'm doing 150 is because I pull like 20 at a time. So I'll just keep, I'll end up rotating through the same like small batch of projects over and over again. Alara pointed that out to me. If I don't do a larger number, but I don't want it to be too big. So we're gonna do one, 150 total. Um, okay, next up is Grinch Gnome and Company. Why did I do that? <laughs> um, I'm going to insert a picture of what it's going to look like because I don't have the I don't have the um, cover photo printed off, but um, and the mock-up on pattern it's in Pattern Keeper, but Pattern Keeper doesn't do back stitching. So now I'm straightening out my other leg. My I have a goal to finish this. I'm doing this uh, two over two on 28 count white Monaco. My first milestone was to do the back stitching on this little guy right here. And I got that completed. That was only 266 stitches. I did this in the middle of the night. Like I was like, oh, let, let me just see how much I can get done. And then I was like, you know what? This is pretty easy. And so I just kept going and I got it done. It only took me like, what, hour, hour and a half if that. So there's that. And like I said, everything that I'm showing you today is going to be included in that 150. So that's gonna, that's not gonna count to the ones that we're gonna draw out. And then once I draw those out, then we'll pull for what I'm gonna work on for the next two weeks. That's why I said this is gonna be a long video, almost like another whip parade. Next up is from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is Mini Tea and Books. Um, artwork is by Bridget Ashwood, I believe. 275 by 275. It has 89 colors. I adopted this from one of my friends and that's what it's going to look like when it's done. I am doing this two over one tent stitch on a, I think it's a 28 count easy count Lugana. Um, my goal is to get it to 15%. I am currently, I had seven milestones of a thousand stitches each and I got the first milestone done. So I reached the left corner. That's where I normally start. The friend, my friend Naomi that I adopted this from, she started in the right hand corner. She was doing a diagonal and I always go to the left. Like I start in the left usually. So I was working my way across and I got to the left hand corner. So that's, that's like all me right there. Um, but I got a thousand stitches on it, so I'm at 7.33% so far. So there's that. Next up is Spring Sampler from... Um, Cooler Design Studio. I almost said Stony Creek. Spring Sampler from Cooler Design Studio. Artwork is by Sandy Orton. 
I have all four of these started. Did I really work on both of those? Spring sampler. Oh no, winter was the last one. Never mind. Okay. I I pulled winter sampler out earlier because I worked on it before, so it's gonna be included in the 150. And I, I confused myself. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh spring sampler. Artwork by Sandy Orton by Color Design Studio. Um, I have a goal of 5,000 stitches on this and 10 milestones of 500 stitches each. I'm doing this two over two on a 28 count tea dyed Monaco. Um, and I have a couple park threads here because again, it's not gridded. So I was worried about going too far and messing it up. And that is where I'm at. So what I did was I came in here and I started doing this section down here and across. And I got uh, some more of the side over here done with a little bit more of the back stitching for that. I'm trying really hard to kind of back stitch as I go so that I don't leave it all for the end. So there's that. Again, 5,000 stitches on this piece. Next up is Summertime from Stitch Robia. Somebody had left a comment in the cat about the category I had this in. And again, I'm not going over the categories and stuff because that's all going to be changing with the amounts that's in them once, uh, once I pare this down. So I have to take a look at all that refigure what the numbers are and we'll get all that adjusted for the next video but this is the mock-up of summertime but somebody had asked me because i had this only in the etsy category like why don't you have it in seasonal i'm like honestly i didn't even think about it but i have enough in the seasonal category anyway so it's fine but that's what it's going to look like when it's done um I started the year at 30%. My goal is to finish this. I have this divided into seven milestones and the first milestone was to get it to 40% and which I did. I am at 40.01%. Oh my God, where's that? Hang on, what do I do with that board that my mom gave me so I can actually use it to show my stuff? There we go. <laughs> um, but that is where I'm at with it so far. So I finished this part right here completely. And then I, I was working on this one over here. So what, I just got to finish, I think that line right there and then, oh, it goes over and up. Yeah. And then that little motif thingy will be done. But I did 916 stitches to get this to 40%. So yeah. All right. I think that was it for my completed milestones. And I didn't work on that one. I still have a few that I worked on that I didn't finish the goal for, and I think it might be these ones here. Let me just double check before I pull them out. Yep, these ones here, I worked on them, but I didn't finish the milestones. So I'll go ahead and show these to you because they're gonna be included in that 150 as well. Uh, next up is from, uh, I think she calls it Gnome a Month now on her Etsy shop. This is from Cross Stitch for Everyone. I'm calling it the Year of Gnome Sal because that's what it was called when I bought it. And um, my goal, I'm going to be finishing them off individually so they're counted as individual pieces. Um, but the one that I have set to be a finish first is the May Gnome. 
because that's the only one I had started. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. There is no back stitching on these, just full crosses. So, yay. Um, but my goal is to finish it. And I am currently at, I did uh, 307 stitches on this. Um, I needed 1,019. And there was a lot of confetti on this. So, it was like really slowing me down. But I did 307 stitches on this. And this is where I'm at with it so far. And I am at 90.34%. So I only have about 712 stitches left to finish this thing off. So that is going to stay in the pile to be worked on. Next up is Christmas Reindeer. And this is a uh, kit that I have bought off of Etsy but if you go to cross if you go to chartingcreations.com and type in this code uh this kit number right here hb-680 this will pop up it is available on her site and um so I'm calling it Christmas reindeer I have a goal of 6000 stitches on this and um the I didn't get the milestone done. I had a, uh, I had it divided into six milestones of 1,000 stitches each. Um, so I didn't get the milestone done, but I did do 500 stitches on it. Where's my, here it is. I did do 500 stitches on it. And when I was looking at this, I was paranoid last year that it wasn't gonna fit, but it will. I already counted out all the squares but I got 500 stitches on it. I got this part completely filled in right here, um, except for, nope, I did. I got from here up is completely filled in. This ornament's done. I started working on this antler. I started bringing this stuff out right here. So yeah. Okay, next up is from Keslin's. This is Christmas with Friends. And I have a goal to finish it. My first milestone was going to be to complete the S and the T because I was doing this in the middle or starting this in the middle. So I wanted to do the S and the T and all the little doodads that are with those letters. I got the S completed. I did 500 stitches and got the S completed. I'm doing this two over two on a 28 count Lugana in the color Glacier. It's upside down. And I keep forgetting about my board. There we go. So I got 500 stitches done on it. There we go. And the S is done. So now I have to do the T and the little doodads. Isn't that little, isn't that little birdie cute? I feel like if I put it too close, it gets really blurry. Or if it's, or if the camera spots my face, it starts getting blurry. So there's that one. But yeah, I have a goal to finish that one. And I still have to get the petite treasure braid. There's three of them that are on uh, used in that. I haven't come across where they're used yet. They're not, not used in the S, so I'm not sure when I need them, but I need them to finish it off. So we'll have to see how that goes. Next up is from Cricut Collection, and this is um, Summer. I have all four of the patterns with fabrics to be started. This is the first one I started. And I have a goal of 6,000 stitches on this. I didn't write on my card. I uh, 6,000 stitches on this, six milestones of 1,000 stitches each. I'm halfway done with the first milestone. I got 500 stitches done. Let me make sure I show you the correct way. I'm doing this on a 28 count 
Lugana in the color Mystic, two over two. Like I said, I got 500 stitches done. I started in the middle to make sure I had it spaced out right. And that is where I'm at with it so far. I'm really liking how it's like the colors are like popping off there. So another 500 stitches and the first milestone will be done. This right here is the second M in summer. Right there, started in the middle. That was a new start, if I didn't tell you and if you couldn't tell. All right. Next up is uh, one more piece. One moment, I'm just double checking to make sure this is my the last one I need to show you because last time I didn't show you one and I didn't realize it until partway through the end and I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Yep. Okay, all right, I'm good. Okay, last piece I'm gonna show you is uh, Toy Shop. This is a retired pattern from um, Pain Free Crafts. No longer available. I gotta find it. Artwork is by Steve Crisp. This is 600 by 450. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Again, this is no longer available, so I'm not gonna link it down below. I had a goal of 5% on this. This is a new start. Uh, I had it divided into 10 milestones with the first milestone being 0.5%, which was going to be 1,350 stitches. I got 500 done. I'm doing this on a 30 count China fabric, um, one over one full cross. That's the first 500 stitches on it. And so it is currently sitting at 0.19%. So I still need to do 750 stitches to get this goal done, or milestone done, I'm sorry. That's where it's at so far. Not much to look at. That's the thing about full coverages is 500 stitches is not much to look at, especially at, at in the beginning at least. But looking at the piece, I think that as I do another 500. I'm trying to pull up the P God damn it. I'm trying to pull up the PDF because I wanted to look at the very top corner. Yeah, so I'm thinking that I'll be getting into that little pirate ship soon. Cause I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be getting into that pirate ship very shortly because you saw that. And then look how that's angled right there. So yeah, next time I work on this, I'll be getting into that little ship. Yay. Okay, that's everything I had to work on or that I did work on. Let's update the board. I decided to go back to black to mark off the milestones because I felt like you couldn't really see the red. Okay, this is gonna be fun because I am in a very small location here. Um, let me do it like this. I'm not intending for you to be able to really read this. This is just for funsies. <laughs> I didn't really think about this. I didn't, I didn't, ah! I didn't think this through. <laughs> Shocker. So we got my blues clues marker. We got my giant board. 
We're gonna be marking off the milestones that I did complete. And the first one I'm going to mark off is going to be, I've got like four of these because I had so many projects. Um, bookmark cups right here. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. Okay, bookmark cups. And then where does this go to? Gingerbread smalls. I'm just looking to see if there's any others on this one here. Nope, that's the only one on this board. Before I throw that out of reach, let me just put that right there just in case I missed something. Okay, next up. Okay. Grinch Gnome and Company, which is right here. And Honeymoon Sunsets on a different board. Let's talk stitching. Over here. And the hate cells on another board. Mini tea and books, which is right down here. What I will say is if I get these goals completed, whether or not they're a finish, but if I get all the goals completed, that's when we'll cross it off. Um, Mother Nature Halloween, of course, is way over here where I can't reach it. Eh. Mother Nature Halloween. One more chapter which is where I really can't reach it. Ah. <laughs> One more chapter. Spring sampler. Oh, you know what I did? I was so smart when I did the, my board this time. I just realized this to make it easier for myself. I put it in alphabetical order on my board and I'm sitting here trying to go over the stupid board like, oh, did I miss anything? It's in alphabetical order, doofus. Okay. Uh, spring sampler, which is, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead, hold on. Let me go ahead and color these red ones in. I didn't do that on the other boards, but we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, spring sampler. Springtime Splendor, which is right below it. Stitcher's Paradise. <sighs> Summertime. And unicorn. Let me color these red ones in so they're a bit easier to see. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get over to my final board so I can mark off okay let me just color these in real quick okay so this one here I'm going to color in two squares each I was just coloring in the red in there that was from last time I'm going to color in two squares each because 
I have weekly goals on these and there's two weeks every floss tube. So we're gonna color in two more for Honeymoon Sunset and two more for the Hate Sal. And then just if you haven't seen this final board, this is where I said, I was like, <laughs> I was a nut and I said I want to do 135 finishes this year. That's not going to happen, but I went ahead and put those on there anyway. So if I get a finish, we're going to mark it off on that board. And I think by paring this down, I think honestly, I'm not going to get a lot of finishes in the very beginning of the year. So we're not really going to see much of that. But I think as the year goes on, we'll probably start seeing um, some finishes pop up like towards the middle of the year. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. So the projects I just showed you now we're going to pull, I can get rid of these. This is going to get a little loud. So plug your ears. Maybe. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> um, that was not as loud as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay. Um, so the projects I showed you are going to be included in the 150. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the projects that I'm going to pair this down to. Projects I pulled are going to be included in the 150, plus the projects that I worked on since the end of December. And I'm going to be running through these quickly. We're not going to go into great detail on them because I have a lot to do still and we're already an hour in. So, Ancestors from Cross Stitch for the Earth is going to go into this list. So, I got the book on Amazon. You can get, and she has a fourth one now that's like cat themed that I have not gotten yet, but one of my friends, uh, Melissa, pointed it out to me. Um, but this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm not going to go over goals or milestones on these pieces because it's a lot. I'll go over it if I pull it to work on it. And then I'm just going to really be showing you the cover pages of these. And then Beach Getaway from Charting Creations. If I can find it. Where is it? Oh. That one will be on, on the 150 list. And then the next one is going to be a one my small kit from Dimensions. This is Coffee Shop. Again, I'm not gonna show you the pieces themselves. I'm just gonna show you the cover photos. If I pull it to work on it, then I'll show you my starting point. Next one is going to be uh, uh, Mill Hill Kit, um, Enchanted Pumpkin. The next one is the Stitch Along from Stiach. House. The next thing is going to be an old kit that I have from Designs for the Needle, Isaiah. And the next one is another Mother Nature uh, piece from Just uh, Cross Stitch Magazine, and this one is Mother Nature Summer. Then, from Heaven and Earth Designs, this is the Mountain Cabin. This is the Max Color version that I will be doing.
can't get the paper in. There we go. Next up is Pumpkin. Uh, this It's called Pumpkin Autumn. I'm calling it Pumpkins. This is from Cute Patterns by Maria on Etsy. Next up is from Cute Broidery. I have to insert a picture here. Spa Gnome. I don't have the cover photo printed off. Uh, next up is from another Moho kit. This one is Sugar Cookie House. And then Winter Sampler from Cooler Design Studio. And the last one will be Wool Shop Retired Pattern from Pain Free Crafts. Those are all the pieces that I have worked on since I started drawing from the Giant Basket. And now that leaves me 120 that I still have to draw. So we're going to pull 120 out of here. This is why I'm sitting on the floor because I have all my stuff. Let me just move some of this stuff around here real quick. Put this right here. So when I draw these out, I'm going to kind of put this right here. When I draw these out, I'm going to just do what I just did, just show you the cover photo. I had another basket. Here it is. We're gonna throw them into this basket. That way I know what I'm picking from. And then I'm gonna tally up what I'm doing. Okay. I just realized something. Hang on. It's going to be a little off with what I'm going to pull from to work on because I just realized that I just realized that I did not pull the stuff out from, okay, I know, I know what I'm doing, but hang on one second. I'm not pausing and editing. You're just going to have to work with me here. That's going to go in there. That one, that one's going to go in here. I just realized I did not plan ahead and pull out the ones that I, from two floss, like all the previous floss tubes. So I'm gonna have to do that afterwards. So the ones that I pick from today to work on for the next two weeks won't technically have all of them in there to pick from, but you know what, I'll, I'll fix that later. And I got, I'll have plenty to pick from anyway. Oh, and then the other thing that I forgot to show you, um, that's going to be in is the gingerbread smalls, the gingerbread smalls, um, from Primrose Cottage or Twin Peak Primitives. I'm sorry, Twin Peak Prim Primitives. Uh, the other one that's going to be actually included is going to be the carousel. I'm doing all of these. The carousel is going, 
going to be the one that's already included in the 150 because I started that like two weeks ago. So that can go right there. Okay. So I'm just getting the pieces that I pulled like last floss tube and I'm dividing them up between the ones that they should be in. Okay. Now, let me get this all mixed up. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to, like I said, I'm just gonna show you the cover photos of what they are. So the first one that's gonna be in this is Zinnia Garden. From the cross stitch studio and what i'm doing is i'm going to go ahead and pull them out and set them aside i think that's going to be the longest part is getting all 120 of these pulled out and kind of try to keep them a bit organized dolly mama ho Oh, it's over here. That right there. I'm going to do this. I was telling Alara and Suki, I said, this is going to be like a freaking mess. Next up is Coffee Friend. Coffee Friend. little kit right here. Okay, and then Hedgehog. This one. This cute little thing right here. Autumn Sampler. That'd be funny if I ended up pulling all four of the samplers from Cooler Designs out, huh? If I could ever find it.
Rainbow Castle from Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me show you the piece real quick. That piece right there. Now I gotta find it so I can pull it out. Just a, yeah. Okay. Try not to look so I don't cheat. Um, oh, PSL, they're here. This is from, um, I want to say, oh my God, Witchy Stitcher. Yep, this is from the Witchy Stitcher. That right there. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to think about like when I go to pull the 20 that I'm going to work on, like how... I'm trying to keep it a little bit alphabetical so I'm not like here, there, and everywhere. Because as I pull out the 150 total, I'll be able to kind of condense the other stuff to less um, bins and move those 150 into the two bins. Um, Aurora Cabin. Over here. I don't know why I have the first two on my right, but it's all right. Not that one. Dimensions kit. Again, I'll just, I'll show you the pieces. It's going a lot easier to sh just showing you what it's going to look like. I'll show you my starting point if I actually pull it. spice I think this is a little one oh yeah autumn spice from um, it's so Emma you know I'm kind of liking the fact that I'm pulling a bunch of like it's a nice um, mix of projects, like some are big, some are small. So this will be this will be good. Route sixty six Christmas diner. That is a kit. From Design Works. That right there. That's 10 out of 120 so far that I have to pull. Welcome home fall. That is back here. 
like my fat's poking out the bottom of my shirt. It's like riding up. Welcome home, fall. Where are you at? This one is from um, Stitching with the Housewives. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like it. I'm excited. Okay. If I pull, so the reason why I'm like, ah, is because, oh wait, no, I think I'm okay. There's just, I think one or two that won't be included this draw. Yeah, no, never mind. Forget everything I said before. I'll be all right. Ooh, coming to room. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is um, from Jan, pa Jan Patrick Kresny, Max Color. As I'm trying to keep it a bit alphabetical until I get to a certain point, and then you're going to have to sit here and watch me while I kind of sort through the stuff to get it a little bit organized. But you don't mind that, right? Okay. No problema. That's what you say when I say you have to watch me organize stuff. You say no problema, Jen. We don't mind. This is a small little kit from Dimensions. That right there. Oh, so what I was going to say before was if I happen to pull out one that I already have set aside, that's what I was going to say. That I already have set aside, we'll just throw it in there. Uh, cake Shop. Can't see that, but that's okay. Cake Shop is in this one. Not the one I was thinking it was. Okay, this is another retired piece from Pain Free Crafts from Steve Crisp. That one right there. rules. Yay. Oh, yay. Like there's some pieces that I'm like, man, I really hope I pull these ones. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I just got to find it. This is from, um, Primrose Cottage Stitches by Lindsay Waite. one is going to be oh pumpkins but I already have that one out because that's my one from uh, cute patterns by Maria so that one doesn't count in my draw okay next gingerbread smalls the M&M's cottage 
so that one is um, somewhere. Where did it go? Where did my gingerbread smells go? Oh, is this it right here? Yeah. The M&M's Cottage. Which one is it? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta double check and make sure which one it is before I before I show you. Of course, the pieces I keep. Eminem's Cottage is page thirteen. Do I have these in order? They're not numbered. Ah! Ah. Okay. Gingerbread Smells Eminem's Cottage is this one right up here. Next up is Calendar Girls November. I got these from Suki. Got these stitching in the Springs Retreat November. This one right here. I don't know why I'm keeping them all in one bag, but that's all right. I think this is the one that I that my mom wanted me to do. Must be in this one. Yep. Yes. I'm doing the boy. You can do this in a boy or a girl, but this is a dimensions kit. So sweet cow, but I'm doing the, my mom is doing this one. I'm doing this one. this fun? I'm having fun. I love doing this. This is like my favorite part. Year of Gnomes July. So I showed you the Year of Gnomes May. Oh, exciting. Year of Gnomes July is going to be this little guy right here. Next up, jukebox. <laughs> I didn't think about where which one it would be in. Uh, jukebox H I. Here it be. So this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is Max Color. by Ciro Marchetti. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Okay. That is 20, 100 left to go. Sea turtle. Sea 
turtle. Here it is. This is from Stitching Jewels Design. I'm going to show you on Pattern Keeper because the printout I have is pretty atrocious. Not the piece, but my copy of the. That right there. Next up, oh, my son is going to be so excited. Yippee ki -yay. He's been, this is from Stitch Man Darcy. He specifically asked me, my 13-year-old specifically asked me to do this pattern for him. Now I've got to find it. Oh, he's going to be super excited. He's like, are you going to do it next year? Like asking me last year. So yeah, I guess. All right. If you don't like bad words, why well, say them so I don't know why you're on this channel. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. From Stitchman Darcy. Okay. Next up, vintage style. I think I could be wrong. I was wrong. Never mind. I was going to say, I think this is a soda stitch pattern. No, it's not. This is a kit from Artiste. I can't get the cover sheet out. There we go. That one right there. Next up, Once Upon a Time. That, when I showed that, that showed up like super good. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, Once Upon a Time, it should be in this one. Oh. This is a really old kit from Jan Lin. That one right there. Cafe Mocha. Cafe Mocha. There we go. I'm like off screen. Hi. And it's dark. Oh my God. This one's terrible. Listen, if you have never seen me before, do not judge me based on the lighting situation today because it is not very good but it's whatever this will oh this will be well a lot of them are new starts but I like I haven't even opened the package buttons and beads kit cafe mocha shop. I'm like pulling out all the retired pieces from 
Steve Crisp, I feel like. Sweet Shop, retired pattern from Pain Free Crafts. Artwork is by Steve Crisp. I'm looking for it because it's not down with the new ones that I did because I've already started it. So now I'm trying to see where it is. That one right there. Gingerbreads, oh wait, hold on. Gingerbread Smalls Carousel. I've already started that one, right? So that one's actually already included in the 150 or in the ones that I previously pulled. So that one's gonna be set aside. Go ahead and go into the basket. Okay. Oh, Calendar Girls February. That one right there. Okay. Esmeralda's Academy of Charms. Where is it? No one's ever here. This is from Praiseworthy Stitches. That is what it's going to look like. It's a marshmallow world. This is another one I was, I'm excited that I pulled it, even though I'm not working on it the next two weeks unless I pull it again. But I'm happy that it's in the first running. It's a marshmallow world from Sugar Stitches Design. Love it. Um, the Virginia Stitcher is stitching this and um, she showed it in her whip parade and it's looking so good. I'm like super excited. All right, let's see. H. Okay. okay. Yeah, Mother Nature Winter. Like the downside about pairing this down is that some of these projects that I really want to work on, if I don't pull them to be included in the one in the first 150, I'm going to be like <laughs> Mother Nature Winter from the Just Cross Stitch 20 magazine 2023 series that they did. There's 30. It's going to take a while, isn't it? 
told you guys in the beginning, this is going to be a long one. Frederick. That's a blast from the past. Super old kit that I have. That I see pop up on Facebook surprisingly quite a lot. Frederick. I've had this thing for like, I don't know, since 1712 or something. I don't know. Um, I'm like, okay, let me not pause the video. Let me just pause and think for one second. Let me do this. Let me pull these out. Hmm. Hold on. I'm trying to think of what I can do here. All right, give me just one moment. I'm just moving, I'm shifting some stuff around here. I'm just trying to make give myself some room. These are in fairly alphabetical order right here. So this will be okay. I'm just not putting Calendar Girls series or the Gingerbread Small series in there because I've already pulled two from the Calendar Girls. So just in case I keep pulling those. So let me just put that back there. I hope my neighbor downstairs doesn't get too upset because I just made a very loud noise on the floor. Okay. Ha! <sighs> Good thing I kept that out. Calendar Girls January. <laughs> that one right there. Steampunk coffee mill. How exciting. This one is from Maya Stitch on Etsy. That one right there. That looks really cool. I like that. move these two here in case I pull like, more stuff out of that series. Okay. Oh, yay. Can't, I can't get a grip. Let's talk summer. from Hands-On Design. That one right there. <sighs> Catching rays. My biggest project ever. I haven't worked on it in a very long time.
that piece right there. That's my million stitch project from the Cross Stitch Studio. Okay. Flea Market Flowers. This was a sow put out by Fat Quarter Shop. It's so Emma. Lori Holt. My God, so many. Lori Holt sow from a couple years ago. Stitch Fairy. This is from um, uh, what's her name? Brooks Books. Let's see over here. Oh yeah, it is over here. Here it be. that on brooksbooks.com. Okay, next up will be, which one am I, oh, I'm holding those. Let me try that again. Kaleidoscope. This is from um, Yasmin's Made with Love. Yeah. That piece right there. Mother Nature Christmas. Just Cross Stitch Magazine 2023 series that they did. That one there. You know what I'll be sad about if I pull all of them except the last one? <laughs> Dreaming of Autumn Leaves, that will be here. This one is from Rosewood Manor. That one right there, that's gonna be really nice. I'm excited. I still need some threads for it. I have some of the threads, so I'll probably end up having to um, do what I can 
while I wait to be able to afford the rest of the threads. <laughs> okay. That was 40. Okay. Winter. From the Cricut Collection. That one there. Like I said, I have, I started summer and I'm hoping to get all four pieces completed. This is from cutebroidery.com. I'm just gonna hold the cover photo up like kind of back here. That one right there. What I'll probably do, if I remember, is I'll insert the cover photo over the pulled back picture I showed. Okay, next up. Oh, almost messed up. I didn't tally mark when I folded that piece of paper up. Oh, day to night tropics. Let me just put these back in this bag for right now. Day to night tropics. It is a retired chart from Pain Free Crafts. by Lars Stewart, that one right there. Then Star Spangled Swain Farm. Is that it right there? No. This is it right here. Yeah. Um, the big one right there. There's like other stuff on here that I'll probably do like next year. Unplug. This is a Stitch Robia piece in one of her books. Let me just find the bag with the fabric in it so that I know where to look. Cross Stitch for the Earth. Page 10. Okay. That one right there. walking upstairs. Autumn favorites. Ah, actually I could, I was trying to see if I could just show you without having to open the bag. I think if I just pull the card out and show it like this. Yeah. Autumn favorites from Shane and Christine Designs. I really like this piece too.
and then Year of Gnomes, June. That one is, hang on, let me find where I have the gnomes at on here. Okay, the mock-up is a little blurry. That's, it, it's not too bad on camera, but that one there. Cuddly Bear Quilt. I'll be glad when I finally get this thing done. This is a super old uh, blanket. Those cross-stitch kit blankets from Sunset. That one right there. I've been working on that since I was like a teenager. I'm just going to kind of put that right there because it's like super thick. Thick. Baby ABC. I told you guys it was going to be a long video. <laughs> oh, man. 2024, the year of three-hour floss tubes. <laughs> Baby ABC, kit from Design Works. Okay, the sewing desk. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs by Amy Stewart. Just gotta find it. Do I have it under T for the? Yep. All right, the sewing desk from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is regular size, regular color. That right there. Okay, there's 50. Bake the world. That one's gonna be a nice quick one. From little, oh, Franny Ritter designs. I was gonna say a little Ronnie. No, Frotter, Fr God, Franny Ritter. Designs, bake the world, better place. Ooh, Halloween feather tree. This is from Little Robin Designs. That right there. You see why I didn't want to show you like my starting point on all of these as I was pulling them out? Because this is, again, being like crazy ass long. Not even halfway through pulling the 120 that I needed to pull. And I still have to pull the projects I'm gonna work on for the next two weeks. 
coffee shop. I already pulled that one. Or that one's already set aside. All right, that works. Okay. Um, Elegant Witch. This is from Maya Stitch. That one right there. Calendar Girl September. <laughs> that one right there. I feel like I keep pulling those out. Watch me not pull out another one. Okay. Liberty Bell. This is a small little small little kit from Artiste. That is way over here. right there. <laughs> Nativity motifs Let's over here. kit from Artiste. <sighs> Bell. Alara. Jelly. That's my bell. From Shannon Christine Designs. She's so pretty. Be excited to get her started. shop is already set aside. <laughs> Year of Gnomes, February. I think the cross-stitching gods are telling me I need to get these series pieces completed, huh? Year of Gnomes, February. That's not what I wanted. That little guy right there. I'm glad to be kind of paring this down because that way I get to work on these more. Gingerbread Smalls Train. That one. is 
this cute little one right here. Let me just put that right there. Dolly Mama Coffee. That one is over here. That one right there. It says bring coffee and no one gets hurt. We actually have quite a few in this little Dolly Mama series. Like snarky stuff. Or funny stuff. I'm trying to keep them in somewhat alphabetical order. All right, there's 60. We're halfway through. Pulling the 120. Okay. It's this one. I love you to death. That is from Stitchman Darcy. This piece right here. Let me go ahead and pull it out. Ocean ABC. That's actually over here because I pulled it last floss too, but I didn't actually work on it. So now it'll be in the 150. Ocean ABC is a kit from Design Works. I feel like I'm being like super quiet because I'm just like reading off names and showing pieces. So I feel like it's being like super duper quiet right now. But I don't know. Next up is going to be, I think because I'm not talking about the pieces, I feel like compass. I feel like it's um not as much because I'm trying to like get through these like very quickly so that I can get to the, what I'm actually going to work on for the next two weeks. Compass, this is from Maya Stitch on Etsy. That one right there. And Good Night Bears. This is like a super old kit that I have. Oh. Somewhere. Ah. Super old kit from Designs for the Needle. Yeah. Gingerbread gnome. This is from cutebordery.com. This cute little one right here. I like that one a lot. Christmas holidays. That is a mystery to me. Christmas holidays. It's a new start, I know that. Oh, from Stitch Rovia. I feel 
feel like this one's going to be a quick one once I actually get into it. It says, I just want to bake and watch Christmas movies. I feel like once I really get into it, it's going to be fairly fast. It's only 93 by 121. And it's not even like a full coverage thing. So, Christmas holidays. Okay. <laughs> Calendar Girls December. <laughs> That one right there. Suki, I feel your spirit coming through the video getting me to work on these. <laughs> okay, next step. Let's talk winter. Another piece from Hands On Design. I do have all of these. Chalkboard, let's talk chalk, chalk talk, whatever. They have a hashtag on the back. Hashtag chalk talk if you post on Instagram. Which I don't always do. Winter in the Village. Yay. I'm excited. I love these village pieces. This is from Stony Creek Collection. I have all four of them started. This one is technically the furthest along because I started this one before the other ones. Oh, Year of Gnomes May. That goes in there. I'm already, I'm already, I already have that set aside. Okay. Come on. Uh, let's talk One there from Hands On Design. Okay, that was number seventy. Peaceful Jaguar. is from CrossFit Studio. I was like bent over, like pushing my lungs into my further, whatever. I couldn't breathe. Like <sighs> Peaceful Jaguar, I got the crop. There was, a, there was a larger version. I do not recall if these are still available because there was some that she had that were a limited series, like limited time. And I don't remember if that was one of them or not. And there is one piece in particular that was telling Suki and Alara last night. I'm like, I really hope I pull it. Autumn Angel. That wasn't it. <laughs> um, I really hope I pull it. So I'm... Like, really, I really, really want to work on it. So I hope, hope against hope, and I wish against wish that I pull that piece today. 
to be included in the 150. Where is it? Autumn Angel. Here it is. Yeah. This is a, um, I picked this up when it was like on clearance, uh, but this is from Design Works and this is a Jim Shore Angel. That border is all stitched as well, but that piece right there. I just realized when I was pulling that out to show that I still have to sort the floss on that. <laughs> I haven't sorted the floss. All right, espresso. This is another Milho kit. I think that might be all of them. I think I, I think I had four that were all going to be new starts. I started two of them. I pulled one, and I just pulled the fourth one. I believe it was two that four that I had. All right. I have a hair on my face. calendar. Yay. What is it? This is from Tiny Modernist. This one right here. Happy Easter. Pause for just a second here because, well, let me pull just one more. That way I have a even number. Uh, gingerbread Smalls Gingerbread Man. And that one is going to be that little guy right there. Um, I just need to get these sorted real quick. Where am I going to put these? Um, bless you, Mr. Whiskers. We'll just put them right there. I'm trying to like keep the piles in like a somewhat alphabetical order. So I'm trying to not mess my piles up too much. Bless you, Mr. Whiskers. Where you at, boy? You hear him? Come on, Ken. <laughs> per my last email, he gets these sneezing fits. There he is. Hey, baby. Oh, per my last email. Bless you. Oh, I'm going to have to insert a cover photo right here. Mr. Whiskers. He's going to do it again. You okay? Are you all done? I have to insert a cover photo here because I don't have a cover photo of this. It's an old pattern I got off of Etsy like 150 years ago. Pumpkin. Family vacation. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs. I want to say it's by Amy Stewart. I could be wrong though. Bless you. Yep, Amy Stewart. Family vacation, max color. Okay. 
my part. Hello. Day to night, North America. I pulled this last floss too, but I did not work on it. Is this it? Yeah. This is a retired piece from Pain Free Crafts. The artwork is by Lars Stewart. Here it is. Day tonight, North America. Hey, baby. He's getting closer. I think he wants some attention. Hey, sugar bear. How you feeling? After you just like sneezed a hundred million times. Shining star. Oh, yeah this is from um who's it from um sam sarah design studio and it's lyrics from a christmas song Little Magic. This is by Stitch Rovia. So this is, I got the, um, I got the one for the light fabric, but I'm actually doing it on dark fabric, but it's okay because I was able to get the conversion. So I may be doing a little bit of frogging on that one to change some colors out, depending on how I feel when I pull it out again. Okay, that's 80. 40 left. Freedom! It's a kit from Design Works. Oh. This one right here. Hi. He's on the other, he's like behind the camera and he's just sitting there. Advent Animals. That is from Brooks Books. It is, I looked recently, it is still on there. You just have to kind of comb through her website. Um, I'm just going to show you the first one because it's 25. I'm not going through all of these. There's 25 animals. Multiple people are doing this. I know Stitching Mommy and Stitching Moon. I know Stitching Mommy finished hers individually. Stitching Moon, I want to say, is doing hers all on one piece of fabric. But I don't remember if she's do it, finishing them individually or if it's one piece. I'm going to do it all on one piece. That's why I'm not going to show you each individual one. Sugar bear. Enchanted pumpkin. Oh, that was the uh, Mill Hill kit. That's right. That was a Mill Hill kit. That's already included. All right.
Poltergeist Pirates. Yes. This one right here. I'm just going to pull the card out so I can just keep the pattern in. This is from Blend in Place. This entire video, you haven't heard him sneezing. Now all of a sudden he decides to come over here and have a sneezing fit. I think he is feeling better though, because he was hiding for a while. Stacked teacups. He was hiding for a few days and now he's actually, he actually walked over to investigate what was happening today. So I think he is starting to feel a bit better. Uh, this is a small kit from Dimensions. I love how the new cameras, like when you go to hold something up, it's like super ass blurry because it's trying to focus on your face. Um, Mother Nature Spring. I think that's the last Mother Nature piece. Oh, nope, there's one more. After that, Mother Nature Spring. That one there. Hiding place. This is from the CrossFit Studio. Artwork by Abraham Hunter. It's not what I wanted. That is what it's going to look like. And we just pull it out. Is that it? Yeah. I'm thinking that after after this, after today, my videos will start going back down to the normal. Year of Gnomes, April. Going back down to the normal like hour, hour and a half that they usually are. Not no three freaking hours. April. Nope, not what I wanted. Nope, not what I wanted. Oh, stop. Oh my God. I'm trying to pull up the mock-up and there we go. This little guy right here. Okay, Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist. there. And I haven't been pulling the fabric for the Year of Gnomes pieces because I already have them in a bag with the Year of Gnomes May. Because even though they're all like finishing separate, I am doing them on like between two pieces of fabric. So they're all in a bag together already. Christmas calendar from Tiny Modernist. <laughs> I pulled all three of my calendars from them. Um, Christmas calendar, here it is. Oh, let me show you um, Pattern Keeper because I didn't print out the cover photo. Not all of it is gonna be quite compatible because there is some back stitching, but 
I at least can do the cross stitching and pattern keeper, which will be easier for me with counting and whatnot. And let me do this. I have a routine. I just messed up my routine. Um, okay. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. This is a very old kit that is out of print. Listen, if y'all see these kits, it's from the Disney Dreams collection. Listen, if you guys see these kits on like eBay and whatnot for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, don't spend that kind of money on these. They're not worth it. And that honestly goes for any piece. It is not worth three, four, five hundred dollars on some stupid freaking cross stitch pattern. Seriously, I see some of these out of print pieces going for hundreds of dollars. And you know why these people are selling them for hundreds of dollars? Because they know that suckers are going to pay for them. Don't spend that kind of money on, cr it's cross stitch. I mean, seriously. I just, I've seen some, I saw somebody trying to sell these. They had like kits that I didn't have. I have two of those. And they had the other ones I didn't have. They're trying to sell them for like 70 bucks a piece. No, actually, no, over a hundred. It was $120 a piece for those. All in the family. $120 a piece for those things they were trying to sell them for. I'm like, uh-uh, no, it is not worth it. All in the family. Oh, this was a piece I pulled, but I didn't start it last time. Um, it's a Dimensions, like, Stitch People thing. So I'm going to do it with me and the boys and the cats. sampler. This is out of one of my books. For a sampler. Kathy Livingston. Oh my god, my books that are covered up. <laughs> it is a it is like a disaster over here. Page 80. So I'm going to be doing the Flora Sampler out of this book right here. And I'm just double checking before I show you. Ah, this one right down here. Be Brave, that is a little kit that I have. Oh, my mom got me. Here it is. It's a Disney Princess kit. Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid were my two most favorite Disney movies when I was a kid. So I have a few pieces that are kind of, I didn't used to, but now I'm getting a few pieces that are kind of themed around both of those movies. I absolutely loved them. I knew all the songs. I would sing along with them, even though I'm a terrible singer. Sing along with them. I absolutely loved Belle. She was a reader, just like I was when I was little. Not really so much of a reader anymore, but oh my God, books upon books upon books for me. Riding the Wave. This is a very old kit from Dimensions that I had. I'm trying to adjust my positioning here here it is right here oh creative accents which is a division of dimensions that one right there
calendar girls march <laughs> This little one right here. Colorful cow. It's one of my kits. I'm trying to think of where it is. Not sure how long I'm going to keep it in this bag for because the zipper teeth are a little messed up on it, so it's kind of hard to open and close. Colorful cow. crossword. I pulled this before, but I never worked on it or I never started it. It's over here. This is from Long Dong Sam Long, Long Dog Samplers. <laughs> what the hell am I pulling? Crossword. <laughs> I was actually just watching 16 Candles last night, where Long Duck Dong comes from. I was just watching that movie last night, too. Um, crossword from Long, Long Dog Samplers. Reason Someone Smiles. This is out of one of my Stitch Rovia books. Let me find the fabric so I can see which book and what page. Oh, this one is in cross stitch for the heart. Page 60. This one here be the reason someone smiles today. Harry Potter, Stitcher and Adventure, Lachlan. Um, I don't have really a mock-up to show. This is the outlines of the parchments. Um, like I said, I don't really have a mock-up to show because it um, it's a Stitcher and Adventure. So everybody says I'm doing three of them and all three of ours are going to be different. Quick Stitch Red Panda. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs. By Meredith Dillman. Piece I adopted from my friend. That's why it's a piece that I wouldn't normally do. I wouldn't normally get it for myself, but she wasn't gonna do it, so. Grab it from her, please. All right, that's a hundred. We got twenty left to go. Shit, this video is so long. <laughs> okay. 
Halloween wishes. From Gren Glendon Place. This one here. I'm not going to read it. I'll read it if I pull it. Let's talk spring. Hi, Gracie Lou. I believe that is all of the Let's Talk series from Hands On Design. That one right there. Hey, Gracie. Gracie girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come say hello to your fans. She's like, what is all this? Hey girl. She's behind the camera. Come here. Oh, never mind. She's a talker. I did not hurt her. We always wander. <laughs> we always joke around that we're breaking her breaking her back whenever we pick her up because she's that's what she sounds like as you heard i didn't even touch her i just reached for her and she's it sounded like i was just beating her she's such a brat wander i don't even know who made this it was a kit that we picked up that my mom picked up Year of Gnomes, March. That one right there. I thought maybe you could see her. Oh, she's over there. Never mind. Okay. Mermaids of the Sea. This is the Stitch Along from Bella Filipina and Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers that I bought, but I didn't start because I was doing the new starts last year, so I couldn't start it. And... I thought, I gotta find it now. I had like the last bit, oh, there it is. Yeah, do you see what I'm talking about before when I was like, I said last floss too, but I seem like I'm super organized and I'm not. <laughs> that behind me is like a mitigated disaster. Okay, so Mermaids of the Sea Cell from Bella Filipina and Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. That one right there. I got the bead pack with it. I can hear them. Uh, but I did not get this, the fancy floss, so I'll still, I still have to get that. And I got the, oh, Holiday Quaker, yay. Um, I got the uh, call for pack with it too. Holiday Quaker. This is from Lila's Studio. Just gotta find it. Here it is. This piece right here.
Christmas ABC. This piece right here from Design Works. That one right there. Very strange noise outside and I don't know what it is. <sighs> oh, Creekview Cottages Somerset. I'm glad this is getting included. I'm drawing these. I'm getting all excited like they're going to be like stuff I work on right away and it's not. I still have to just pull 20 projects to work on for the next. No, that's not what I wanted. This is from the CrossFit Studio. I don't think this is one of the pieces available on the website. I think I'm on the Insiders Club with them, and I think this was a special pattern, like for because we get free patterns every so often, and I believe that was one of the ones that is not was not available, like for sale. Gracie's behind the camera again. You're gonna come over here so you can say hi. You're just gonna hang out. Okay. Library. This is from Stitching Jewels Design. That piece right there. New Year. And this is from the, uh, this is from CrossFit for Everyone. Where is it? This piece right here. And I am stitching the background on that. Okay, that's 110. 10 more to go, and then we'll pull for what I'm working on now. <laughs> in the next two weeks. I know this is so long. I'm sorry. Christmas rules. Yay. Where is it? From Primrose Cottage Stitches. This piece right here. of Christmas. It's a super old kit that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. I actually went to get something else and she was like, do you want any of this stuff for another dollar? Sure, why not? Do I have to sort this floss? Son of a motherless goat, I do. Ah. Ugh. 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 Might not if I pull it, that might not get worked up right away. <laughs> okay. Black cats and pumpkins. Ah. 
This is from Doo 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 Little Dove Designs. That right there. Coffee Addict. Copy Addiction. Copy Addict. This is from, I do not remember, Amelia Bedelia. Alessandra Adelaide. <laughs> Coffee Addict. This piece right here. We're getting close, guys. We're almost to the end of pulling the 120, and then you got to watch me pull 20 more pieces to actually work on this go round. <laughs> I'm not even sorry because I know you love my long ass videos. Otherwise you wouldn't be here because all my videos are long. It's just, um, pain in the ass trying to edit and then upload because it takes forever. Okay. Oh, lighthouse bookmark. That'll be a nice quick one. Super quick. It even says on the package, stitch in a weekend. <laughs> yeah, I just put it right there. All right, five more to go. Oh, Snape's library. Do I seriously? Oh, here it is. I was like, do I seriously not have this uploaded in Pattern Keeper? No, I do. This is from the Cross Stitch Studio. She actually just released McGonagall's Library like yesterday, I think. Good friends. I know a few people who will be excited that I'll that I have this one in my first batch. It says good friends make each other laugh. Really good friends go for the snort. Kristen, Michelle, Alara, Suki. <laughs> I got this when we were at Stitching in the Springs. Ow. I think it was on the freebie table. Okay, I gotta straighten my leg out. Hang on. Oh my God. Mm, one second. Deep breath, deep breath. A lot of you are old like I am. Have you ever sat in one position too long and you go to straighten your leg out and it like feels like you're breaking your knee in half? That's what that just felt like. Holy shit, that hurt. Oh, bookmark books. So I showed you the cups one earlier. Shit, where is it? I showed you the cups one because I had worked on it, which means that it should be in this. 
are here. Here it is. This is the other one. Cover it up so it comes, cover my face so it comes into focus. All right. Calendar Girls April. <laughs> we're at the, we're at the, right there. This one right here. I feel like I'm pulling out like half of these Calendar Girls. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Let's make it a good one. All you need. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, tiny little kit. From Janlin. All you need is love. Love is all you need. Okay, there's my 120. I don't have all of them in this basket from like the ones that I've worked on before. So, but I'm gonna, I just dumped that fucking basket everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's pull out the 20 I'm gonna work on. Now keep in mind the Heaven and Earth Sal and the Honey and Honeymoon Sunset stay out. And of the 30 that I've worked on since I started pulling from the big basket, um, not all of them are going to be in today's basket because I'm not going through that basket to pull them out. Okay, but for the next two weeks, Peaceful Jaguar. That was from the Cross Stitch Studio. And, oh, you know what I can do? I can move that out of the way and that out of the way and that one out of the way. Now I just have to remember which piles I had put them in. Luckily, they're somewhat alphabetical. Here it is. Okay, so Peaceful Jaguar from the Cross Stitch Studio. This is going to be my starting point. And again, I'm keeping the milestones and categories and whatnot. So I have a goal to get this to 10%. Um, I currently, I want to say I'm at 1%. Here it is. I'm at, oh, I'm at 2%. Okay. Um, so Peaceful Jaguar, this is a crop 325 by 325. It has 91 colors. Artwork is by Lucy Bilodeau, Bilodeau. And Alara is actually stitching this as well, but I don't remember if she's doing the crop like I'm doing or if she's got the full size piece. So I am doing this one over one full cross on a 32 count easy count Lugana. I am at 2.1%. My first milestone will be to put in 1000 stitches on it. And this is going to be very weird with the lighting because it's now the middle of the afternoon, so the lighting is like starting to come through the windows. And I think this one is the bad one. Pay no attention to my fat if it's showing. Oh, I think it was showing. Oh, that's better. Now that I can actually reach it. Okay. Riding the wave. Let me put those there. Riding the wave. So this pile here. Okay. 
old design works kit creative accents kit this one here and this is i'm using whatever came in the kit this is my starting point i have a goal of 3,000 stitches the first milestone is 500. i have six milestones with the first one being 500. And we're going to save the categories for the next floss tube because otherwise I have to pull up my computer, open up the, the spreadsheet that I have it on, um, you know, all that jazz. Plus, I still have to sort the categories out, like adjust the totals. Good night, bears. Pulling all my old shit out now. Is that this one over here? this one right here I think no hang on that one goes over there um hang on let me think of where I put it oh here it is okay good night bears old kit from designs for the needle using whatever came in the kit this is my starting point i have a goal i keep dropping everything i have a goal of 3000 stitches six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches uh, so like I was saying, I'll do the categories like in the next, um, the next floss tube because I need to sort through everything and figure out what all, um, what all goes where. Like I'm keeping the categories that they're in, but I have to adjust the numbers since I'm only doing, uh, got a Christmas ABC. Um, since I only have 150 in this now instead of 321. Christmas ABC from Design Works. This one here. Um, artwork is by Krista Hamrick. This is my starting point. I had the letter O completely done except for the beading. I have a goal of five letters. The first milestone is going to be to complete letter P, which is poinsettia. So I may start it, but I won't necessarily complete it because that's a lot of stitching. Gracie, for the love of God. She's not even doing anything. She's scratching, she's climbing out, she's going back in, she's scratching in the litter box. Gracie, hey, stop. Espresso. I do ha actually have one more mohawk kit that I didn't pull out that I noticed when um, I was going through looking for something else. But espresso, mohawk kit, this will be a new start for me. And my goal is to finish it. Uh, I have it divided into eight milestones with the first one being 500 stitches. Oh, let me do this real quick. five. I'm going to pull out 20. Star Spangled Swine Farm. This one is also going to be a new start for me. If I remember where I put it. From Hands On Design. I'm just going to show you right here. Oh, I need to pull the card out. Uh, I got this as a kit from, I believe, one of my subscribers when she sent me the LNS in a box. And I have a goal of 6,000 stitches on it, uh, divided into six milestones, with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches 
and um, I'm just going to use whatever came as it was kitted up. So it's going to be black Ada that I do this on. One more chapter. So I am going to do it. So what I was saying before is that if I work on it, I'm not going to pull it out again for that immediate floss too, but I'm just going to, I'll do an exception this time because I have to get all this stuff reorganized. So one more chapter, just one more chapter. Another lies I tell myself. And I just showed you because I completed the first milestone on that one. And milestone number two is going to be to complete the stack of books. Nope, left. The left, the stack of books over here on the left. And it's a goal to finish it and it's got five milestones and I've already completed milestone one. So there you go. So what I'll do is I will I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to go ahead and update the milestone board on there. I just thought about that. I just need to adjust the grand totals, really. I can up, go ahead and update that, though. Well, no, I'll make a note of it, and then we'll do an, a proper update in the next video. Dreaming of Autumn Leaves. Um. Yeah, no, I'm not going to update the, the milestone and category board today because... It's going to be all kinds of out of whack because not all these, wait, yes, they did. Shit. I'll look at it when we're done. I'll, I'll look at it when we're done. This is from Rosewood Manor. It's going to be a new start. And I'm going to be doing this on a 32 count Lugana, just a cream Lugana. It's going to look so nice. And I have some of the thread. I have the Amber and the Hunter. I need to get more of the other stuff. I gotta double check, is it just Amber and Hunter? No, I think I have Tiger's Eye. I think I have the first three on here and then I gotta look and see about the rest. I know one of my projects, I have a skein of the cayenne, so we'll see. Um, I have a goal of 4,000 stitches on this. Eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And I'm gonna double check what size fabric this is with what size I need to stitch this on to see if it's something I should start in the middle or if it's something I could potentially just start in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to kinda of just go with it and see what I can and cannot do. Hopefully I do it correctly. Like I said, I do have a skein of cayenne in um, one of my pieces that I should probably honestly go ahead and pull that out while I'm thinking about it. By the snowman, I have, I have a skein of cayenne in there because of the heart that's in it. Where's the buttons? Where's the floss? Here it is. What I think I want to do is I want to get all of my, I'll go ahead and throw that in here. I, what I want to do is I want to get all of my fancy flosses organized into one thing like I do my master set of DMC so that I'm not constantly like, because I have some floss in here from projects that I finished that are fancy flosses that, um, I uh, might be able to use in other projects. So, oh, once upon a time. Really old kit from Jan Lynn. I think that one's back here. I think. I could be wrong. It could be right here. I could be wrong on that too. It could be back over here. Oh, wait, it could be over here. Over 
over where? Didn't I? This is the one I needed. It could be in here. Yep. All right. My ass is starting to hurt from sitting. I have a pillow under me, but still. Okay, Once Upon a Time, really old kit from Jan Lynn. And I'm doing this on what came, it was a 28 count white Monaco. That is my starting point. I have a goal of 4,000 stitches on this. Eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. Oh, it's getting dark in here now. I'm almost done. I'm hungry. I've been at this for over three hours. <laughs> I was gonna I was thinking about putting this into two separate videos, just doing a regular floss tube and then doing the all the 120 pulls. And Alara and Suki were like, no, Frederick, do it all in one video. We love the long videos. So you can thank them for this insanely long video. Frederick. <coughs> really old kit from Creative Accents. That one there. And I'm just doing whatever came in the kit. This is my starting point. It's all folded up, but that is my starting point. I have a goal of 3,000 stitches on this, divided into six milestones, with the first milestone being 500 stitches. Oh, hedgehog. Right there. Um, this is just, it's something I picked off the freebie table at um, Stitching in the Springs. I am just going to do it on a 14 count white Ada. This is, I think it came out of a magazine. Uh, Margaret Sherry Designer. Yeah, it's a supplement to the world of cross stitching. So it's it was just like one of their little freebie patterns. I have a goal to finish it. I have it divided into eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. I really do not think it's, I don't think it's going to take eight milestones to get this done. Um, I was just kind of giving a rough estimate because there's back stitching with it too. Beauty and the Beast. so bad. <laughs> Where the frick is it? Here it is. Okay, like I was saying before, this is an old Disney Dreams collection kit from MCG Textiles, who are no longer in business. It's divided into uh, four pages. I put a goal of the top left page. Eight milestones of 2,000 stitches each. So this is, I'm, hang on, let me see if I can tell you where the bottom is, if I hit the bottom of the left page so I have an idea. Top left of chart. I'm thinking... that it is somewhere hang on cuz i have a very defined edge of the side like the page ends right here I think the bottom of the page is around here somewhere. So my goal is to complete that. Um, but I have it divided into eight milestones of 2,000 stitches each. Can't 
can't believe I said I wanted the top left page done as my goal. <laughs> Some of my goals are like freaking ridiculous because I was acting like they were going to be my only piece that I was going to work on. And then some of them are very realistic, like, eh, 500 stitches for a milestone. All right. Coffee Addict. This one here, I'm going to be doing this on a, uh, a 14 count black Ada and I have a goal to finish it and my first milestone is going to be um, the latte macchiato and the caramel macchiato that's my first milestone is to get those two cups done Fairy. I think that one's back here. I think. Yep. Stitch Fairy. This is from Brooks Books. It's going to be a new start. And I'm going to be doing this on a 28 count white opalescent Lugana. So sparkly. Uh, I have a goal of 3,000 stitches on this with the um, divided into six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. Uh, this piece, I'm going to have to play it by ear because there is a lot of sparkly floss in this. I want to say it's a shit ton of petite treasure braid that I don't have. So I'm going to have to look and see what is and is not sparkly floss and do what I can. So we'll see how that one goes. Okay. Lighthouse bookmark. This was a little kit that I picked up off the freebie table at Stitching in the Springs. Actually, someone else picked it up for me and said, here, this looks like you, you should do this. <laughs> and uh, I have a goal to finish it. It's only four milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. Honestly, we're gonna see where we're at with the 500 and I may try to knock it out. I don't know, we'll see. Dolly Mama Ho. Okay, Dolly Mama Ho. This was uh, from the subscriber that sent me the LNS in the box. I'm using whatever comes in the kit. I have a goal to finish it. The first milestone will be to cross stitch the body and the gloves. So basically just the cross stitching of her dress and her gloves that she's got here. Um, and her legs. Nope, her legs are back stitching. So the body and the gloves. Happy New Year. So this is from Cross Stitch for Everyone. Gotta find it. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I am stitching the background on it. Um, I'm doing this one over one full cross on a 30, 28, 
28 count easy count lugana that is my starting point i am 1.06 percent complete on it that is the upper left hand corner start i have a goal of 6,000 stitches on this six milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches i'm going back and forth on if i'm going to kind of do what alara is doing with dragons and doing all of the 939 first before i do the rest of it i don't know we'll see we'll see it's going to be a bit before i need to make that decision anyway so right now i have no choice um Next up is pumpkins. I think that's back here. That is backwards. Pumpkins from Cute Patterns by Maria. I'm doing this on a 14 count Ada, uh, Charles Craft Ada that I picked up at Joann's in the color Dog Pee. This is my starting point on it. That is my starting point on it. I'm trying to make it so it doesn't look like it's crooked. That is my starting point. Um, I have a goal of 8,000 stitches on it. I have already completed one milestone of 1,000 stitches. And um, so I will be moving on to milestone number two, which is another 1,000 stitches. Dolly Mama Coffee. Where would it be? Again, from one of my subscribers, Dolly Mama Coffee. It says, bring coffee and no one gets hurt. I have a goal to finish this. Uh, the first, I have it divided into six milestones with the first milestone being to cross stitch the body. So just this part right here. Yeah, just her dress. One more. Halloween wishes. This is from Glendon Place. I'm trying to think of where I got this. I feel like I bought the pattern so it says, ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, scary witches at your door, jack-o'-lanterns smiling bright, wishing you a haunting night. I want to say I got the pattern and the thread pack from I don't know where I got it from. I don't remember if it came from that subscriber or if I bought this. I think I might have bought this from um you know, they have like Marketplace and like one of the big, through Mystic Fabrics, because she goes to those like shows where they show all the stuff like Market, like, you know, but like Market, not Marketplace, not Facebook Marketplace, Market. Um, Might have been something like that where I got it from. And then I'm going to be doing it on a 32 count uh, vintage Stormy Night over two. So I got the thread pack 
and I felt like this was a bit too dark. I couldn't really, I had a hard time seeing it on here, so I'm gonna do it on a lighter one, and then I think we'll be able to see it better. Uh, so I have a goal to finish this, and my first milestone is going to be door line and scary line. So scary witches at your door. Um, and that is not, it's just the words. So scary witches at your door and, and that's it. Pumpkins will be in another milestone. Okay, so that was 20 projects plus um, plus um, Honeymoon Sunset and the Hade Cell. My knees and my ankles hurt from sitting on the floor for almost three and a half hours. Um, okay. So this may be adjusted just a little bit. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna update this because what I normally do is the night before I go through and I make sure that I have the correct categories and I didn't do that because I was changing this up completely. So we're going to do a proper board update. I will have what I had before. If it still applies, I'm gonna make notes and everything and we'll do a proper board update in the next video. So sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll, it'll all be fixed in the next video. So <clears throat> I have a lot to clean up and reorganize, get everything situated. Um, so I have been doing focus on a finish where I had like a couple projects that I was focusing on getting a finish completed on them. <clears throat> they were the May Gnome and um, Best Friends Quotes. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kind of hold off on that. I'm doing that and I'm just going to try to bang out as much of this stuff as I possibly can. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. I'm just going to see how much of this stuff I can bang out because eventually I'll get finishes. I will. Um, but anyway, that's it. This is a long ass video. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully you get to see this at some point on Saturday. If not, it'll be uploaded on Sunday when YouTube finally decides to cooperate. So take care. Happy stitching. Oh wait, nope. Back up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, if you have not already hit the subscribe button, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified whenever I post a video. Uh, I will be recording a stitch with me on Sunday. Um, I gotta think about what I'm gonna talk about. I'll probably just talk about food. Um, and um, I will set that to post next weekend during my non floss soup weekend. So take care, happy stitching, get a lot of stitches in, and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye.